Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I'm back with another Happy Places Royal Trends unboxing, and this is the next set. This is the, um, kind of like a sub-series within, but this is the next set. This is the wedding season, and this one actually comes with the groom. So this is Will Hugh, and this set is called the Charming Wedding Arch. So basically it's a Charming Wedding Arch that comes with Will Hugh. Um, he comes with an easy pop-off accessory. I don't know what that is in this one. I think it just might be the ring box, but we'll take a look, closer look at it uh, when we open him up. So, on the back here it says, More royal trends are on the way to plan a magic wedding day. The wedding of the year is about to take place. Prepare the perfect wedding day for the happy groom, Will Hugh. With peckin accessories as he waits for his bride under the wedding arch. There are so many loving faces to make more happy places. And here is the box art here. Um, right here it shows... Brody Little Shoppy in the Royal Crown Carriage Pack. Also available. This is Bridie's new groom. I mean, they're actually giving her... A guy. Now, he's the second mass market boy we've gotten in uh, the Happy Places world. Uh, we saw one from the actual Royal Trends. Uh, was it Ro Ron and Ruby? Yeah. So, I don't I don't know if they're related or not. But he's definitely the Royal of the, of the two. Because as far as I'm concerned, Bridie's been obsessed with getting married, but she hasn't actually found a groom. But, uh, what, what, better, what better groom to give her than a royal, right? So let's go ahead and get him out of his box, and we'll take a look, closer look at all of him, him and all of the accessories. I don't know if I mentioned anything to you guys about these cute little doves on the front here, but... Um... I thought I would just show you guys a little closer look at those. They're really, really cute. Let's start off by looking at Will Hugh himself. He's got blue hair. Uh, got a lot of detailed work in there. You can see that he's got a, a nice full set of hair. Blue eyebrows to match. He, he's wearing this really sparkly crown. It's set in a hard plastic, but it's metallic plastic, and you can see that's metallic gold. It does have some details on there, but nothing's painted or, or defined. But that's okay. His eyes are light blue, and in his eyes, if you guys can look, see that at all close up, um, he's got diamond rings. On each in each eye so that's pretty cool his head moves back and forth he is a light uh, complexion and his arms move up and down and his legs move up and down so you can make him sit or stand uh, his suit is a uh, uh, it's kind of peculiar because see how it's transparent almost almost glass or um, glass slipper like or something but um on the packaging, it shows his white gloves and white suit. So, I don't know what they were trying to go with here. I guess last minute they must have changed it and went per lesson, I guess you want to say. But, uh, it's, he's transparent, pretty much. Uh, jacket and pants. And shoes. Except for on his shoes, his, the bottom of his shoes are yellow. And he's got a little peg hole in the bottom, so we can stand up on the stand. Um, he does have cuffs. That are dark blue. I don't know if they're part of his jacket. He does have also some gold paint detailing around his pockets and the edging of his jacket. And a, um, a light blue rose right there on his shirt. Uh, his jacket does, is removable. And underneath you can see he's got a dark blue vest on with a darker blue bow tie. And some more gold detail work that go down there. So, um, yeah, that's him. He's got a cute little tail on his uh, shirt as well, or on his jacket. But um, I'm going to put him on his stand and put him aside for now. Okay. We'll take a look at his accessory. I guess this is the easy pop-on or pop-off accessory. Uh, we have a light blue box here with a little bear face. A uh, puppy face? Looks like a puppy face. Okay. And um, the ribbon on the top that's painted in pink with a heart in the middle of it. And then on the bottom, 
it has a little, um, I don't know, horseshoe or something holder where you can put his hand. And it looks like this opens too, guys. So let's look, see what's inside. Let's see, can I open it? Does it open from this end or the other end? I don't know. Okay, it had a little, pe a little peg hole there where it opened up and, and clasps. So if I get this to focus. There's a little bit of stars. Sparkling stars on the inside of the lid here. And then inside there's two rings that are that are painted in gold. The diamond is gold as well, so that's interesting. And it looks like it's on top of a letter. Hmm, I wonder what that letter says. But anyway, that clasps right back down into the hole. So I do like how that fits together. I'm not usually a fan of these type of hinges though, because he, but I think this is it's done proper. So I guess he can hold it. So our biggest pet can is this archway, which is the main piece of this set. It has a light pink, like light pale pink base with two peg holes. One for Will Hugh and one for his bride. And then embedded in it, there's two hearts. We have um, an awning type curtain that's all done in pearlescent uh, white. So you can see all that kind of shiny effect there. On top of it, you have the arch. And the arch has purple flowers, a bunch of light blue flowers, and then another purple flower, and then some more purple flowers over here. Uh, if you look closer, you can see different flowers, but they're all just kind of colored that same color. On top of it, we have a petkin face that is a puppy in a different color pink, and then a different color pink for the bow underneath. I'll just show you a quick view of the back. There's not really much to look back here. It's kind of the ugly back effect. But it does have um, some detail work, just no paint. So that's that. And here is the cute dark pink uh, bench that came with it. You can see the you can see two heart-shaped puppy petkins faces on this one. So you got a blue one and you got a pink one for boy and girl. You have a little bit of greenery behind there that's done in a like a greenish, like a I don't know, like a sea green. And then you have a little bit of that pearlescent white drapage on the back of each. Oh, look at the little bums. You can see the little tails <laughs> on the back of each side of the bench. The bench itself is textured to make it look like it is wooden, but it is not. It is still like a plexi plastic. It looks like the back part is removable if it needs to be. And here we have a potted rose bush, which is actually a little bit sad. I wish there was a little bit more paint detail in there, but you can see that there's a pale pink rose that's painted on there, but all the other roses are just the green color of the bush. And there's some hearts in there too, but those are not colored as either. So a little bit lazy on their aspect, but it's okay. We'll get over it. Um, the pot itself is pink with a um, lavender bow around it. You can see where the bow ties in the back. Also got that heart on it. And there's the little puppy tail. Puppy face. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I know there's another flower. I will find it. Blaze has lost it on me and I'm a little bit irritated. But uh, if you like this video, go ahead. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.